for our next news special report. Tonight I bring you a story that's shaking the foundations of faith across America. Imagine a small town tucked away in upstate South Carolina achieving the unimaginable 141 baptisms in just one day. This isn't just a story of numbers, it's a tale of a spiritual awakening, a phenomenon echoing the miraculous events of the early church. But what's behind this sudden surge of faith? How has one congregation managed to inspire such a monumental shift? And what does this mean for the future of faith in our nation? As we unravel the story, you'll witness the incredible power of belief and the unstoppable force of community united in faith. Stay with us because you don't want to miss the profound impact the story has on the very fabric of our American public. It's more than just news. It's a revelation of the spirit moving in our times. Before we dive deeper into our special story tonight, a quick word from our sponsor. Just like the 141 believers who found a new beginning in that upstate church, 10 Questions for James offers a fresh perspective on faith. This 3D graphic novel rated 4.8 out of 5 stars on Goodreads delves into the mysteries of good and evil, the nature of hell, and the intriguing connection between the Nephilim and today's UFOs. It's a journey of discovery, much like the spiritual journey of those 141 souls. To strengthen your faith and explore Christianity's unique aspects, grab your copy on Amazon. The link is in the description. Remember, true faith, like a good story, starts with asking the right questions. Now, tonight we delve into a story that's not just news, but a testament to faith and community in America. At an upstate church in South Carolina, a seemingly ordinary Sunday turned extraordinary with 141 individuals baptized, a number far surpassing their previous record of 35. This event isn't just a headline, it's a narrative of a spiritual resurgence in our nation. Now the church, a beacon of faith in the community, is now a landmark in this historic spiritual movement. Senior Pastor Wayne Bray, overwhelmed by the magnitude, told the Baptist press, we've never seen anything like this in our church. Imagine 141 people from different walks of life unified in a singular act of faith. Now this wasn't an impromptu event, but a result of a diligently planned sermon series focused on the church's ordinances, including baptism. Bray's words resonate, quote, More than any other moment in my ministry, I felt like we were living in the book of Acts. This reference to Acts 2 is poignant, where the Holy Spirit's descent led to the conversion of about 3,000 people. Now here in South Carolina, we're witnessing a modern-day parallel, a congregation experiencing their own Pentecost. The church's growth mirrors a spiritual awakening from approximately 4,500 members in 2014 to over 7,000 in 2023. These numbers speak to a growing thirst for spiritual connection and purpose. And it's not just this church. Mass baptism events are happening nationwide. We've got some images here at Pirate's Cove Beach in California. 4,500 people were baptized in an event led by Pastor Greg Laurie and Harvest Christian Fellowship. Laurie attributes this remarkable turnout to the influence of the Jesus Revolution movie, a depiction of his journey of faith, and the Jesus People movement of the 60s and 70s. This film has rekindled the flame of faith for many, reminiscent of a time when a spiritual movement transformed a generation. Leaders in faith like Hal Sachs of Bridge Builders International see these events as early signs of a nationwide revival. Quote, I believe God has heard our prayers. That's what he says, pointing to the current spiritual climate as a response to the collective cry for awakening and reform. He draws parallels to biblical events like the shaking of Mount Sinai, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Acts 4, seeing them as forebearers to what we're witnessing today. Now, Cheryl Sachs highlighted the spiritual awakening at Asbury University in Kentucky as a marker of God's movement, where revival there, akin to the prophecy in Isaiah 44.3, signifies a thirst for spiritual renewal being quenched across the country. Michael Maiden, the lead pastor of the Church of the Nations in Phoenix, likens what's happening now to popping popcorn, a slow start followed by a sudden burst of activity. He points to Asbury and events in other college campuses as the first kernels of revival. Auburn University in Alabama saw a similar spiritual upsurge. Take a look at what's going on there.
absolutely beautiful. Now, this showcases a mass baptism following a worship event on campus, another vivid example of this burgeoning movement. So what's driving this revival? Well, it's a mix of societal longing for deeper meaning and a return to foundational values. In a time where division often headlines our stories, these baptisms and revivals offer a counter-narrative of unity and hope. They're not just religious events, they're catalysts for community building and personal transformation. As we near the conclusion of this report, remember, if you found value in the story, tap subscribe and join us as we continue to explore stories that not only inform but inspire, challenging us to look at our world, our nation, and ourselves in new ways. This is more than a tale of a church's unprecedented baptism event. It's a story of a nation rediscovering its spiritual roots, a narrative of hope and unity in a time often marked by division. It's a reminder that faith, community, and a shared purpose can still shape the heart and soul of America. Now, in our journey through this remarkable story, we witnessed something more than a record-breaking baptism event. What unfolded at that upstate church in South Carolina is a microcosm of a spiritual awakening sweep, sweeping across our great American republic. It's a reminder that in times of uncertainty and change, the enduring strength of faith and community prevails. The story matters to the American people because it's a testament to the resilience and vibrancy of faith in our nation. It's a beacon of hope, signaling a return to foundational values and a communal spirit that transcends the divisions and strife we often see. The 141 souls who took a leap of faith in South Carolina are symbols of a larger movement, one that echoes the very essence of our nation's spirit. As we look towards the future, stories like this anchor us, reminding us of the enduring power of faith and the unbreakable bond of Christ's love right here in the heart of America. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.